Our failure to realize this is the source of all our problems. Okay, so, I, anyway, each sentence of Geshe-la's books is a whole meditation in itself, but our failure to realize that nothing exists from its own side, everything depends upon something else for its existence, our failure to realize that is the source of all our problems. So you're thinking, no, it's not. The source of all my problems is X, Y, Z. You fill in the gap yourself. But if we, if we think about this deeply, we'll understand this is the truth. This is the actual truth. So, I'll just say a bit more, I'm running out of time. The, the type of self-grasping that harms us the most is grasping our own self, or our I, as inherently or independently existent. Okay. <laughs> grasping our I. We instinctively feel that we possess a completely real and objective self, or an I, that exists independently of all other phenomena, even our body and mind. Okay, that, so that is, that is the, the type of self-grasping that harms us the most, the most harmful delusion of all. One consequence of grasping at ourself as an independent entity separate from the world and other people, is that we develop, guess what? Self-cherishing. Self-cherishing. A mind that regards ourself as supremely important. Because we cherish ourselves so strongly, we are drawn to people and things we find attractive, we want to separate ourselves from people and things we find unattractive. And we are uninterested in the people and things we find neither attractive nor unattractive. In this way, attachment, anger, and indifference are born. Because we have an exaggerated sense of our own importance we feel that others' interests are in conflict with our own. And this in turn gives rise to competitiveness, jealousy, arrogance, and lack of consideration for others. I admit to all of these, personally. That's not in the book, that's me. By acting under the influence of these and other delusions, we engage in destructive behavior such as killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, lying and hurtful speech. The result of these negative actions is suffering for both ourselves and others. And I can add on in this life and in all of our countless future lives. Okay, so from this one root of the ignorance of self-grasping, believing things to be independent or inherently existent, we develop the mistaken awareness that we ourselves are independent and we begin to cherish ourselves supremely. I'm supremely important. And as a result of that, we then feel that others are not important, that their interests are in conflict with our interests, and then all our delusions start. We begin to draw towards us people and things we find attractive, push away people and things we find unattractive, and generate complete indifference to people and things we find neither attractive nor unattractive. <laughs> and all of our delusions come strongly because of this. We engage in negative actions, and the result of those negative actions is pain for ourselves and others. Horrible, meaningless cycle of impure life. Okay? Not our fault, by the way. This is the good news. It's not our fault. <laughs> it is the fault of this delusion. This one delusion, self-grasping ignorance. This is so fantastic, such good news, you know. The Buddha's making it really simple. He's saying to us, all your problems, all your suffering, everything in the world that causes you heartache, worry, Depression, all of it, has come from one place. One mistaken mind. 
called self-grasping ignorance. So what you've got to do now is identify it within your own mental continuum, and you've got to oppose it. You've got to reduce its power, and then you've got to destroy it completely. <laughs>